I, I, I totally agree, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna come at it from a different angle. Definitely. Look at the look at the demographic now. Twenty eight, ages twenty four and down. Mm -hmm. They live on this. Yeah. So that social media comment now is their life. That's why they post so much. They live for the comments. They live for the likes. Boys and girls. So I was in a call uh, every day is the same now. A couple of days ago, anyway, with, uh, with with government and a few other guys on it saying that there has to be governance from government to these social media guys to say it's not acceptable because the same way they can track down or they can see tweets and see where the where to put advertisements and all the algorithms for that you're telling very me they true. can't do that with racism very true and and, so, and when i say that statement look what happened at in, in the capitol in dc how they stormed the building right 100%. so so if you know so, what trump's been doing for four years this is the outcome Right? Is is that mm -hmm. a, it is powerful? So, so you're absolutely right. Of course. So we we have to we have to do that, and we do have to address it. But my thing is, it's a very, in my opinion, it's a very easy fix. We all like. So I don't know if it's like this in the in America, but in the UK, if you're going to gamble, you need to show proof of identity. Now there's a new law, so you got proof of identity, how much you earn, and they regulate how much you can spend and can't spend on these gambling sites now. Mm. You can't Absolutely. do that with social media. Definitely. Proof of address and ID. Don't get me wrong, there's going to be people that slip through the net, as we all know, but there's an ID and an identification number that says Troy Deeney was racist to such person on such date. Bang, that's where he lives. We can now do, we can now do criminal um, Powerful. proceedings because Powerful. We, we got abused, like me and my partner, after we played Wolverhampton in the semi-final of the FA Cup and I scored, uh, I scored in in the last minute, well, the last kick of the game, actually, to make it extra time, and we won in extra time. And we got racially abused by, I want to say, 90% of Mexico. Yeah. Like, death threats, this, wow. that, and the other. Like, people from Wolverhampton. Like, just not even, not even cool. Like, I'm not a social media dude, so it doesn't really affect me, but every post was monkey emoji, nigger this blah 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 all the way down for like you can just keep doing it you know you can do that and you can just see it yeah. now i don't it doesn't affect me as i say because i don't live on my social media like that but how is that on someone's partner by like, all all she's done is going out with me mm -hmm. she didn't affect the game she doesn't affect what comes out of my mouth yet now you're gonna go you this that and the other or talk about my kids <laughs> And if you did that in the street, A, you get your teeth punched in, but B, you get arrested. So why is it any different? Because it's on social media. Because in one argument, we make out that social media is a new tool. It connects everybody. It's a great advertisement for everyone to interconnect around the world. But when it comes to racism, man, that's just online. Deal with it. Very true, man. But, you know, oh, you're right. 